I've seen you kind of referred to as the fixer <laughs> or Miss Fix It. Are you? Are you? Am I? I like to fix things. What can I say? I do like to fix things. Sandy Peterson came to Johnson & Johnson with a reputation for fixing things at other companies. And at J&J, &J, there was plenty to fix, including massive global recalls between 2009 and 2012. There was also a government takeover of three Tylenol plants and billions of dollars in payments to resolve lawsuits. Most of this happened before Peterson came on board in 2012. Coming in, how much did you know and what did you think initially about whether or not they could tackle all of the recalls, the manufacturing problems, and so on, the lawsuits. It was fixable. Um, it would take time, but it was very fixable. Part of what needed to be fixed, dealing with a company that included some 250 businesses that some say was too big to manage. We have become a much larger, more complicated company with many, many more businesses, which, you know, it was a wonderful thing, but we really needed to say, how do we actually manage this much larger enterprise in a different way going forward? The new way forward began in 2010, when J&J &J began streamlining operations and putting in uniform quality control standards around the globe. We basically took a pause and said we're going to go to every single plant and make sure that we understand what we need to do to have consistent appropriate standards in all of these plants so we didn't have an integrated system. Now we do. So it wasn't like you knocked down a ton of factories um, or had to buy a lot of new technology to kind of get up to snuff if you will. That's not what it was all no, about. It is, no, it was not about that at all. J&J &J did, though, gut its Fort Washington, Pennsylvania factory, spending $100 million to rebuild it from the ground up. Expected to open early next year, the plant will remain under government monitoring for five years. So if someone sees a J&J &J recall uh -huh. as a consumer, as an investor, how should they read that? They should read it as, we did the right thing. The thing they should say is, did they take quick action? I wouldn't interpret a recall necessarily as a bad thing because of the systems that we have in place, the safety metrics that we have in place, the quality metrics. 75% of the consumer products that were recalled are back on the shelf, with the rest coming by 2016. It takes a few years to turn a, turn a business in, in the right direction, but we've actually got better momentum than I thought we would have.